Good morning, Wind Commerce. Uh, I want to make this video to uh, show you how to export the bird list from your database to the One Loft Derby system uh, by Taurus. So you get yourself logged in. We'll just click on uh, the Taurus list. And now you see down here at the bottom, we've got an open or save dialog. And we want to toggle the uh, save as arrow. And we want to take and save it in, um, this particular one is a uh, Windows 7. So we've got to go to C drive. And then we want to scroll down here. Now x87, this it will, or I mean, excuse me, it'll be in the x86 folder, the program files x86 on uh, Windows 7. So we open that folder, scroll down some more to Taurus Derby, and then Pigeon is the last folder we open, and there's Pigeon.dat. And what we're doing is we're going to just save this file right over Pigeon.dat. And it's telling us it already exists. Do you want to replace it? Yes. Then um, we will minimize this and we'll go to our desktop. We'll open the Taurus Derby program. And here you are. There's your uh, bird list. And so now you would uh, go about putting the registering there. There are a few birds here that are not registered. Like I can see this 1303. See, it doesn't have a chip ID there. And so now you would go about, um, yeah, there's a number of them that aren't registered. So we would we would do the process of, uh, you can't hardly see it, but it's pigeons, change, if it'll go, and it won't. Well, at any rate, I guess probably because I don't have the have it over far enough. But at any rate, so pigeon change, we'd assign the ring. And as we assign the ring, you'd, you would see it be saved right in here. So, and, he, and you do that with each one that's not assigned. You'd, you would uh, select the pigeon and then go up here to pigeons, change. There we got it to go. And now if you had a chip in your hand, you would click the assign button. And I don't have my sensor plugged in, so it's, it's not going to work. But at any rate, okay, so... Once we've assigned all the pigeons, now we want to upload these E-ring numbers back up to the internet. And so I'm just going to close out of the Taurus program now. I'm going to go back to the Internet Explorer. And I'm going back to the admin menu. This time, I'm going to import the E-rings. And it just it's just a caution. Okay. We click on Browse. And remember remember the path. Now, I've been there, so this, this computer already knows the path. But basically, it's C colon, program files, x86, Taurus Derby, Pigeon, and then we want Pigeon.dat. And we'll tell it to open. And once we've got, so, so now our file is in the uh, browse window. So now we're just going to upload it. And it's already uploaded. And in this particular case, we want to update the bird list. So we're gonna we're gonna click on update bird list, and it's done. We go back to the administration menu now, and we look at our list of birds. And you'll see all the chip IDs are here. Okay. Now, I mean, I I hate to do this to you, but just in case. You ever wanted to read the instructions, and I know that's a lot to ask because I never read instructions myself. We go to the admin menu. We click on this little help icon here, and doggone it, look at there. It gives you the whole, um, tells you the step-by-step -step, uh, what how you, how you uh, upload the list and how you download the list. So, at any rate, that's about it for today. We'll see you on the next one.